So this is uh, Lung Chempa's Freedom Attends Reality. Freedom attends reality, free at the core. Any effort is wasted, timelessly free. No release is needed, free in itself. No corrective is necessary, directly free, released in seeing, completely free pure in nature, constantly free. Familiarization is merely redundant and naturally free, for freedom cannot be contrived. Yet freedom is just a verbal convention and who is realized and who is not? How could anyone be liberated how could anyone be lost in samsara? Reality is in fact free of all delimitation. Freedom is timeless, so constantly present. Freedom is natural, so unconditional. Freedom is direct, so pure vision obtains. Freedom is unbounded, so no identity is necessary. Freedom is unitary. So multiplicity is consumed. Conduct changes nothing. Our lives are already free. Meditation achieves nothing. Our minds are already free. The view realizes nothing. All dogma is freedom. <laughs> Fruition demands nothing. We are free as we are. There is a paradox here, and I think this is the point, is that what he is bringing us are many multiple paradoxes. And I think what he's trying to get us to see is that the paradox itself is just an apparent paradox. It's not like an actual uh, sort of uh, uh, tension between realities, or the tension is ours, but um, this apparent paradox is still being held by something greater than a yes or no. Yeah, This inclusivity, it's this sort of source of freedom. It, it doesn't necessarily belong to one side or the other of these paradoxes. Um, I find the, the second thing I'll say, and then we can see if others feel, uh, have anything to say about this as well, uh, is that this is a very, in many ways, this, you know, coming out of Dzogchen is a very Zen view. Uh, it feels very Zen to me. And in the way that concepts about these things are kind of like illusory on some level, they are within the relative. Um, but he's trying to point us beyond the relative into the ultimate in a way. And so speaking from freedom, he's wanting us to see that that freedom is so close in, is so absolutely natural and close in that it's hard for us to even see it within ourselves. And this is sort of where meditation is couched is more in realization than in efforting. Yeah. Um, now that said, you know, I have a couple of decades of efforting myself into this place through many practices that I, I find utterly uh, indispensable and still do. And so I think what he's trying to tell us is it is that which helps us encounter that underlying nature of mind that counts. So if it's realization, great. He's not saying don't meditate. He's just saying that it can't give you what's not already there. <laughs> 